Hello, boys and girls. Did you know that I love springtime? During the winter time, God's creation sleeps in rest. Trees lose their leaves, some animals fly south to warmer climates, and some animals hibernate. But during the springtime, God's creation comes alive. Plants begin to bloom, trees begin to bud, and you can hear animals and see them on your walks outside. Today, I want to talk to you about a very special animal. At the, start of ev at the start of every spring, I look for this bird everywhere. And when I see it, I know that spring has begun. Let me see if you can guess what animal I'm talking about. This bird has a red breast, brown feathers on his back, and it lays blue eggs. Do you know what animal I'm talking about? That's right, the robin. On a spring morning, I am so happy when I hear the robins chirp. I feel like they are saying, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. During the springtime, robins begin to build their nests. Mr. and Mrs. Robin search for a safe place for their nest. And when they find it, they begin to gather grass, twigs, and other bits of things to make their cup-shaped nest. Next, they coat it in mud. Mr. and Mrs. Robin go back and forth from puddles, collecting mud in their beaks and carry it to their nest. Then, when all that hard work is done, Mrs. Robin begins to line her nest with grass to make it more comfortable. If you look around the outside of your home or in your backyard, maybe you will see a robin's nest. We found this nest right outside our front door. Once the nest is built, it's time for Mrs. Robin to lay her eggs. During this time, Mr. Robin, he stays nearby to watch out for any enemies that come near. And he sings to uh, Mrs. Robin. If an enemy comes near the nest, the brave Mr. Robin tries to lead it away. Since the robins have a brightly colored breast, the enemy quickly forgets about the boring old brown nest and goes after the brightly colored bird. Mr. Robin leads his enemy away and then flies to safety himself. Isn't that cool? God gave the robin this bright, beautiful color, not only to be a part of his beautiful creation, but also to protect himself too. For many days, Mrs. Robin stays with her nest and watches over her bright blue eggs. In about 13 days, the eggs begin to hatch. And when the babies hatch, they barely even look like birds. They have no feathers and their heads are so big. But in just a few days, the babies will begin to look like little birds. Just like any baby, they need to eat. And do you know what they like to eat? Big, fat, juicy earthworms. Mr. and Mrs. Robin go and search for earthworms for their babies. But they don't have to go far because the soil are filled with thousands and thousands of earthworms. It's a very good thing that there are so many earthworms in the ground because one baby robin eats about 12 feet of earthworms each day if you lay them from end to end. God has truly cared for these birds. Eventually the young robins get bigger and stronger and they no longer fit in their nest and it's time for them to leave. Mr. Robin still keeps an eye on his babies because he knows that they are not very strong and it would be easy for a cat or another animal to catch them. But soon, the babies will be strong enough to take care of themselves. And it will be time for Mr. Robin and Mrs. Robin to build another nest. As I think about Mr. and Mrs. Robin and the way that they care for their little babies, I can't help but to think about how it's similar to how our Heavenly Father takes care of us. He has a perfect plan to feed us, to protect us, and watch over us as we grow, just as he has a plan for these birds he created too. Matthew chapter 6 verses 31 to 32. 
It says, So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the days that you have been giving us this spring. We thank you for the warmer weather that we have been experiencing and all the animals and the flowers that we see. But dear Lord, most of all, we thank you for taking care of us. Just as you take care of the plants and the animals in your creation, you take care of each one of us. And dear Lord, may we never forget that. And may we always be thankful for what we have. In your name we pray. Amen.